Okay, so I wanted to show you on this newer style, the 4000, 3000 series, how you do our uh, the heavy duty travel control valve uh, linkage install. We already removed the linkage, this, the factory one. It was extremely worn and it was, it was actually lifting out of this hole quite a bit. And there's quite a bit of play here. There's play in the back. Um, so we took that out with just a cotter pin and then you just take it off your valve in the back like all the other ones. So refer to our, our main video for the install for the travel control. Uh, we're doing a ton of work on this tractor, so the motor's out, the hydraulic tank's out, the pump's out, so it gives you a good good view. So we figured this would be a good one to show you. You don't necessarily have to take all that out um, to, to, to do this on a three or 4,000 series. It does make it a little easier. Sometimes if you just disconnect these hoses, you can come in from this back access panel and do it from there and from, from underneath. Um, so the bushing on these ones is actually behind this. Which makes it, I guess, maybe a little, a little more user friendly. Except you got to be able to get in here at wrenches and ratchets, and um, if your tank is here or your engine's here, it makes it much harder. But can be done with the right tools. So just wanted to show you, show you this. So you want to push up from underneath on this washer. You see the spring there? And then slide this travel lever forward. Try not to lose the spring. And you can leave the spring hanging there if it will. And then this one, some of these are nylon, and then this one's actually an oil light bushing. But it's all worn out. You probably can't see it's filthy, but it's oblong shaped and I can guarantee you, if you put the calipers on it if she's worn out so here's here's the new one I don't know if you can see the huge difference inside the ID how worn it is focus but there's a big difference there I'm trying to hold it as straight as we can But that's allowing for a ton of slop. So maybe even side by side you'll be able to see a difference here. I don't know. But this original one is worn out really bad. The other problem, we're not going to address it. This customer's already kind of at their budget with this tractor, but you can see this has got a groove horn in it, the shaft. That really should be replaced, but doing this alone will make a difference. But So this is the original bushing. You can see, it's hard to show you, but there's all kinds of slop in here. This thing just slides on and off. No problem, I can go back and forth, right to left with it. Here's our new one that comes in our kit. You gotta actually force it on there. You can see that. No play at all up and down. It's dragging on here. So I gotta work it on and off actually. Compared to this one. This falls on here. Oh, very important you want to clean out here because there's a recess on this where that bushing sits if you can see that on camera or not but this is machined out let's we'll clean that out make sure you clean your spring off a little bit we we'll usually put some kind of grease or the spray lube right where that bushing sits it doesn't hurt anything it only can help now as we told you we provide a little bigger stud on this end because these hit holes in here wear and uh, putting the original size stud in there doesn't doesn't really do you much good. This one's close. I could almost force it through, but you don't want to force it through. So this is a five sixteenths. There's the original one. 
And you can see how sloppy it just goes in and out. And this, what was happening when this lever was moving, this was actually pulling up and down before you'd actually get any any movement of the uh, rod into the valve. So you're losing a lot there too because everything was so worn. But, so if you got your tank out, this makes this job way easier. Again, it can be done, but it's tough. You remove these hoses, you come in here if you've got to open this up. We can use a little Dremel tool, a drill bit. We got this little reamer, which works really well. Opens it up to the 5 16th that it's supposed to be. Right angle drills work. Uh, right angle uh, little Dremel type tools will work fine. So this is a kind of a big drill for this job right now, but the little drill is not handy. But... So we're going at a little bit of an angle because of the drill. But it just got to get opened up ever so slightly. There you go. That's all it took. All right. Now that that's done, we'll go back and install the spring and the bushing. Just like that. The spring is plenty good still. And put your lock in there. You just don't want it to pinch the spring. That's all. It doesn't necessarily need to be under it, but you just don't want it to pinch it. And then also while you got this, if you got your tank out or your motor out and you can slide your tank forward, it's a good time to replace this neutral safety uh, switch. It's, the switch actually, don't they don't need to be replaced, but there's plastic detents in here that sandwich uh, uh, the lever. There's a rod on there and it actually keeps this uh, travel control from creeping forward or reverse or, or coming out of gear, quote unquote. So now's the time. It's pretty simple. You got your two bolts here. There's two plastic pieces in here you can replace or this whole unit you can buy and replace. But now's the time to do that. It's fairly inexpensive. Less than $50, I believe. And then your lever will have a little more stiffness to it and it won't want to vibrate and change speed on you while it's running. And basically from here, the rest of this is the same as our other video for the install for this. The other thing to note, especially on these newer uh, 3 and 4,000 series, if you're trying to adjust this, from underneath it's tough to get on this back jam nut so now's the time just to thread this in all the way this side that goes into your lever and then just tighten this side of the jam nut up and we'll install that and then you can do your adjust in here and you can reach this jam nut from underneath and get your length and adjustment there just a side note on that you can, you can do it on all the models doesn't really matter put, put this in there's plenty of travel here to to go so just bottom this side out and jam it up this would go back into your travel control valve you would put this stud in here bolt it in and then do your adjusting and everything like you would with uh with our travel control into the valve itself so the rest of this from here on out would be the same as as in the other video just put your nut and lock washer on here tighten this down and you eliminated all that play and it'll last forever now